So in today's video, we're talking about getting outside of your comfort zone, trying something new when it comes to your style so that you can stand out from the crowd. You ready guys? Let's do it. First up, gents, the bow tie. And I know many of you guys zoomed right in on this. You're like, Antonio, I've never seen you wear a bow tie, but doesn't this look great? Doesn't the color combination really work? Here's why I love the bow tie. Number one, it's classic. It's been in the man's wardrobe over a hundred years. So this is something that's not going to go out of style. Let's look to Winston Churchill. Guys, people have been wearing bow ties to save the free world, you know, for a long time. Number two, any situation that a necktie is appropriate, a bow tie is going to be appropriate. And finally, guys, let's talk about standing out from the crowd. So you bring this into your wardrobe, like one out of a 500 people actually own a bow tie, let alone actually wear them. So when you can tie your own bow tie, you bring this into your wardrobe, you're going to stand out from the crowd. Now I get it guys, despite everything great about the bow tie, I know some of you guys just are not going to bring this into your wardrobe, but you already wear a silk necktie. So why not change up? This is going to be an easier thing to bring in and that is the casual woven necktie. They're going to have a square bottom oftentimes and what we're going to notice here is the texture. This one made from silk, but we're going to see them also in cotton and wool. The cool part about this is you're already used to wearing a necktie. This is still going to bring your outfit together, but it's going to give it a much more casual feel. I think works great with a sport jacket or even you know a casual button down. All right, gentlemen, so all the clothing, all the accessories you see in today's video brought to you by John Hendrick, the paid sponsor of today's video. What I love, these are classic, timeless menswear pieces. And let's talk about the modern design. It's their fit. It's their use of color. So you go in there, you're going to see these colors pop. I love the way they're able to bring the color combinations together because they're so modern. They're going to work for a guy if you're 20. They're going to work for you if you're 40. If you're 60, you're going to want to bring some of these pieces into your wardrobe. When you go to John Hendrick, you're going to be amazed at what you're able to get with your money because guys, they've got pieces there that I've seen sell two to three times more. They're able to get this price to you because they don't sell in stores. It's all about selling directly to the customer. Now, they're based over in Europe. So, us Americans, you got to pay attention to the sizing. Don't worry. They've got a really good sizing guide over on their website. But for those of you over in London, I was just hanging out with many of you. You asked Antonio, can you bring us companies that are based over on our side of the pond so that we can get free shipping? Don't worry. You've got it covered. If you're in the United States, free shipping as well. Guys, great company and use that discount code. I'm linking to them down in the description with the best code you're going to find out there. So, save money. Go with classic style. Go check out John Hendrick. Next up, gents, let's talk about scarves. This is an easy way for you to bring in something new, whether it be a color, whether it be a unique pattern, whether it be a unique material. Have fun with your scarf. So, look to bring in a brighter color. Look to go with a pattern that, you know, complements actually things that you already wear. An easy way to do this is to go with a base color that you already like, that already kind of works in your wardrobe. In this case, navy blue. And all of a sudden, I've got the brown, I've got the tan, I've got the orange, a little bit of the lighter blue. And this is going to work great. It's going to stand out from the crowd. Now, another thing to look at is the material. Material. So, are you just going with the wool or have you maybe ever tried something that has a cashmere blend in with it? What you're going to find is that cashmere, much nicer, much softer, a wide variety of different materials out there or maybe even look for something in silk. What's cool about silk is going to be the overall drape, the sheen on the material, the weave and the unique colors and patterns that are brought into silk. Now, I get why a lot of people don't like silk. You got to send it off to the dry cleaners, durability issues. Functionality is it going to have the same insulating properties as a wool cashmere scarf. No, this is going to keep you warmer. But silk has its own unique properties. When woven correctly into a tight weave, it can do a great job blocking wind. Hence, early aviators in open cockpits knew wear a silk scarf to protect your neck from chafing. So, it does have some unique properties which you should be aware of. And who knows, if you're not in an area that doesn't require a heavy scarf, silk scarves are something you should look at. Next up, gents, we've got fun socks. If your current socks are black or boring, maybe look to have fun with them. Change it up because you're going to go to that holiday party. You're going to take your shoes off. And why not bring in something fun? So, bring in colors, bring in patterns. Yes, and bring in unique shapes. Here, we've got a fox smoking a pipe. We've got raindrops of various colors. And then we've got my personal favorite, the wiener dog. Next up, have fun with your gloves. Now, you can go for black, you can go for brown or you can change it up. Maybe go for a navy blue, maybe go for a suede green, maybe go for something, just anything in suede is going to stand out. But what you're looking to do is to have fun with the styles, with the colors and that little pop of color right there on the gloves, I think can help you stand out from the crowd. And don't forget about the small stylistic details. We're talking about the pocket square. We're talking about the lapel pin. We're talking about the boutonniere, the tie clip, 
cufflinks. Guys, what you want to look for and what you want to bring in is something that's going to help you stand out. Maybe a little bit of flash, a little bit of color, a little bit of shine. That right there, being different is something that gives you a chance to start the conversation to stand out from the crowd. Next up, we've got suspenders. And I know, yes, technically, suspenders are underwear. But nowadays, suspenders have become a modern fashion accessory, especially when you've got them in a brighter color, a brighter pattern. So, guys, if you're going to wear suspenders, if you want to stand out, especially when you take that jacket off, maybe it's hot, you know, having a good company party, and you want to look great, then look to bring in a nice pair of suspenders, also called braces. Next up, we've got the loud shirt. Shirts like this utilize a pattern, they utilize color, they even utilize texture to stand out from the crowd. You wear a shirt like this, you will be the only person wearing a shirt like this. And if you want to be remembered, then this shirt is great. Now, the disadvantages is that this shirt is very casual and it will be remembered. So, you can't wear this shirt two days in a row. However, if you understand it's not part of your interchangeable wardrobe, but it's an attention-grabbing piece that can really help me stand apart from the crowd, then go ahead and bring this into your wardrobe. Now, I get it. A lot of guys are going to avoid shirts like this. They feel it brings in too much color, draws too much attention, but you can mute this down. So, actually start to bring it in with layers. You can wear a v-neck. You can throw on a sports jacket like I do here. Another way to do this is to actually mute down your other accessories. Notice I have a pocket score here that really doesn't draw any attention. So, it's all about the shirt. I'm letting it shine. Now, the v-neck and the crew neck sweaters are great classic pieces I think should be in any man's wardrobe. But if you want to stand out from the crowd, you're going to need to bring in some different style sweaters. This right here, the polo style, for some reason, it really isn't super popular, but I think it just looks great. has a classic style that we're used to with that soft collar. And overall, it is great for layering. Doesn't this this combination look pretty good. But let's go talk about my favorite. That's going to be the turtleneck sweater. And so many guys never give this a shot. Why? Just something about covering their neck. They feel that they're uncomfortable. Maybe as a kid, they had to wear this. But I'll tell you that if you get a great turtleneck sweater in navy or gray that fits you well, especially if you've got a well-built body, this is going to get you so many compliments. And the great thing about a turtleneck is that you can actually wear it with a suit and it just looks so darn good. All right, gentlemen, now it's your turn. I want to hear from you down in the comments what piece you're going to add to your wardrobe that's going to maybe put you a little bit outside of your comfort zone, but it's going to help step up your style. Again, guys, let me know down in the comments. And gents, if you want a tutorial on how to tie a bow tie, I've got you covered here. And if you want a tutorial on how to tie a scarf, I've got you covered right here. Guys, I take care of you here at Real Men Real Style. So, make sure to go look down in the description for tons of other useful videos that you can go check out to become a better dressed man. And guys, if you liked any of the sweaters, any of the shirts, any of the accessories you saw in today's video, you want to go grab them at John Henrik. I'm linking to them down in the description with the best discount code you're going to find out there. I absolutely love this company. Classic pieces with a bit of a modern twist at an affordable price. You can't get much better than that, guys. Go check them out. I'm linking to them down in the description. Now, not many people know this, but wiener dogs used to hunt woolly mammoths. They would go out in packs of like a thousand and they would find the mammoth. A bunch of them would attach to one side and by sheer weight, they would bring down the mammoth. No, it's not true, but I mean, I can imagine and I do have a wiener dog. So, I like to tell my wiener dog these stories, you know, to build up her confidence.